I hope the answer to, the answer to that is terrific. And we are going to use some happy balloons tonight because I finally remembered to buy some. So that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, so I thought, why not get straight in on it and use them already. So I've mixed up some colours so you can see what I'm working with. Still mixing the white through. Alright, just pulling it up on another device so I can see. Hopefully it works this week. Um, I noticed that last week... Let's hope that this week it will. Okay. There we go. Mixing. Just want to make sure that this is absolutely mixed through. So, while we start off the, the live, we can just stir that through just a bit more. <clears throat> okay. Now the colours that I wanted to use are much lighter than what are in the guts. So I've mixed up some extra of the white to use to lighten them. So this is Viridian. This is from Montmartre. This is Viridian. And so I just want to add really a fair dollop into that to make it a much paler, that's nice, that's what I was looking for, so there we have, put that over to the side, because we're going to use the larger size canvas, this video as well, hey mum, and so we need to make sure we've got space for that. So this is purple. So again, we're going to add some of the white, but not much. Just a little dollop. Oh, nice. Yes. So that they're a little bit softer in colour. Very nice. And the pink, which is pink. Okay. Put that round. There we go. There it is. So you don't always have to work with what you've got. If you combine colors, light and colors, all of that. Hey Kerry, how you going? Lovely to be able to see the chat coming up here. I'm so pleased it's working tonight. There we go. A nice soft pink in there. And then we've got the white. So this is titanium white. Okay, that is the colours created, so just while I grab some paper towel off, because we're going to use a balloon, and so you might need to uh, wipe off the balloon throughout, so just, I don't, I'm not, probably not going to use all of these, but it's no harm, no foul, if there's extra ripped off. So, let's put them over to the side. That's a pretty colour. And you're good. Awesome. Thank you. And this one as well. Alright. So this one here, going to use 
this cake cooling rack, biscuit cooling rack. Actually, I think it's just called a cooling rack. Um, underneath, so I can have my fingers go underneath the canvas. So I'm going to have to do my best <clears throat> to lift you up. And it just falls down. Okay, up. Falling. Ugh. Okay, I guess we'll put you on an angle. Because it just keeps, now it falls further. Sorry guys. Let's see what we can do. On here and there's the edge. We lift up one more. Okay, excellent. It's the best I've got for you with the, what's this called? Tripod. Okay. So we're going to start off with a balloon, stretch it out before you blow it, otherwise, you know, it's tougher if you don't. I like to give it some air, stretch it right into the bottom of the balloon, and then let it out. And then it's given it some more stretch and blow it up again. There you go. Stretch it into the bottom again and then tie it off. I might usually uh, stretch it, blow it up, let the air out a couple of times, but not tonight. There we go. My balloon is ready. And Lisa, Lisa White Art, hello to you. Thank you for coming in. How are you? All right, so we have the white paint, the titanium white that we are going to put, <coughs> excuse me, just make sure that that's stirred through before pouring it out all over the canvas. So this is a 40 by 50 centimeter, so I think that's a 16 by 20 inch. And there we go. Just to help with, <clears throat> excuse me, just to help with the tilting, I'll head towards the corners and come back to the middle. Now I'm hoping that I have enough. All right. So while that's draining out, there we go. All right, so before we get into the 
finer details with our color palette. I would say welcome to Tracy Creating. I am Tracy and throughout this video may you be inspired, learn something new, simply relax while you're watching. I'm not overly worried about going over the edge. I do want to make sure I go all the way to the edge but for the sides I will paint that in afterwards with a, a single block colour that goes with something one of the colours within the painting so there we go I'm pushing my limits with this one you're doing good time getting ready for bed Oh, I thought you'd pop in and say hi. No, and I haven't seen you for a while. It's lovely to see you. I really appreciate that. Recently, I've been, only been doing my Thursday night lives. Sometimes I haven't even been making that. So it'll be nice to get back on track with everything and be getting more videos done because <clears throat> I've missed seeing all these lovely names popping up and saying hello and all that as well so okay just want to come down to this edge this is just making sure that I have coverage it's also making sure that there is a nice a very nice thin coverage over the canvas I need to go that way just a little bit longer come on Oh, the balloons may just cover that. I can place them so that they cover that. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure that's enough tilting for everybody. <sighs> okay. You've been on a three month break also. Yep. Hope to get back on track real soon too. Yeah. Well, I hope that you are doing what you need to do during this time and that you know you'll be back soon all inspired and refreshed so. okay colors so I would like to go Right from just going to trickle it. I'll show you. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. So it's a bit of a three, that's one big sweep, and then an extra little pathway off that other one. Maybe I should just use a stick. I love how this viridian turned out with the uh, titanium white, lightening it up. Check that channel later. Oh, you'll check out her channel. Oh, that's very kind of you, Kerry. Alright. I have no problem supporting other channels. If you're in here and you have a channel, 
because Carrie also has a channel. Um, if you'd like to put it down in the comments and just leave a couple of spaces in between or something like that, you know, because you can't put a link. Um, I'm happy for that. So KL Artistic is Kerry and Lisa White Art. There we go. I'm looking forward to this. This is a pour that's going to have the... Uh, now I'm forgetting my terminology. What's this area, guys? Negative space. But that's also an area where I have less white. So I may just spread it around. We'll see what happens. I may take over the uh, <laughs> negative space. We'll see. You love doing balloon kisses. You put up a video today. Awesome. Let's see, it's been a while. Just give my balloon a bit of a warm up, stretch, squish. And then I might not have any color, we'll see. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. Already, straight off the bat, I'm happy. <laughs> so my device is showing up that it's a little blurry so that could be because I'm on Wi-Fi and sharing it with the Wi-Fi with the rest of the house so I hope that the video is coming through nice and clear for you, everybody that one I may have pushed out a little too wide You just want to push out enough so that you don't exceed the color. See if this color, if I came out past this bit of purple, I would drag the white over the purple. But if I can still see that purple under the edge of the balloon where I'm squashing, when I lift it up, it's going to drag the purple. So, You can never get them right, Lisa. <laughs> oh, it's all worth having a go. Let's go here. Oh, that's nice. That looks like a full coverage kind of balloon. My balloon's very messy. I'm not wiping it off very well. I'm just removing a lot of the surface paint not entirely wiping it off till it's clean but most of it in here oh that's nice i've got some nice little purple yeah um as i come down this end i'm going to try and zoom you in Oh, <clears throat> okay. Oh. Going, why won't that go down? That's uh, because the painting's there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the things you do. Okay. Lovely and soft, not blurry. Awesome. I'm pleased about that. Digit and Sweet Pea, good morning. Lee from Highland, Michigan. How are you? Thank you for joining. Just doing some balloon smashes into some negative space. I'm going to come back here and over here. 
I'm just not even feeling like, yeah. That last one, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. There was no point in zooming you in because as, as soon as I did, I moved my focus area. So, sorry about that. Love, love, love the palette. Thank you. I was a little bit um, uncertain of what to do and I just hit up Google and started typing in colour palette and then colour palette generator came up and then I I'm doing medallions now, can you tell? Oh. Um, went to images and just scrolled until I saw something that I liked. And this was that what came up. So. I don't know what I'm feeling with a lot of it. I want to balloon a lot more. Woo! I was trying to hold that with my finger. So I think what I'll do, I'll just continue. So it's gone from balloon smashes to pretty much balloon medallions. So medallions, I generally refer to them when it's a dried painting and you come back and you put little drops on and then you create that circle by using the balloon. But I seem to be creating more of the medallion style right here. Well, that's nice. Trying to bring out some of the colours. Oh, it's pretty. It's some of that purple there. The more I play with it, the paler it's getting. So, gotta love Google. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Google, help. <clears throat> so, I'm going to put down some more of the purple. I think there's enough pink. Oh, I'll put them all down. It's because I was ballooning too much. <clears throat> the white was coming in and taking over and softening the colours even more than when I mixed it. So I just won't add a lot of pink, especially over here. That's it for the pink. And here we go. Hold on your underneath. I'm starting down in this corner. Okay. Come out again. I'm going to remember to wipe off because I don't want it to muddy. The background is already muddy. So this is just going to add in the less disturbed colour that I've just added on the surface, leaving that background colour still there, but brightening up. 
what we see up front. There we go. Okay, so I'm just remembering to hold my canvas down. like to do that area again specifically with that bit and that bit squeezed in a little bit of a roll there but this one's not about rolls okay there you go adding that in so Try a water balloon with not much water, you'll get more of a design. Water balloon with not much water. Okay, I will give that a go for sure. Okay, and that one. Okay, so we certainly added more colour back into it where it had uh, softened and lightened up from all the white. So I really just feel like I want some little flingies, little lines coming out of it. Um, perhaps I'll use the sticks that came with the paint and so this one down here I might just try and go like that this one I'm coming through some pink so I'm certainly not being delicate about this really pushing through Flingies in all directions. Oops, that one. I turned and it made the sticks, the area where I'm connecting to the canvas with the stick a little bit wider. So we'll see about that. And this one, I just think there'd be a nice one to go in here. And... That's it. Actually, out of those same spaces, I'm going to create a second flingy. Not as big as the first. And it's when you hesitate, like then, <laughs> that you get a wobbly line or friction line work out the flow did that turning sideways again and boom and then Ooh, I want to come back and do little dots, but that'll be after it's dry. So what I'm feeling for that is, I see, I see tweezers nearby for some dust. There we go. So I'll have to touch up some white over here, but let's come down. We'll have a close up and then we'll sign off. So if you have any questions, 
please pop them in now to give them time to come through. Um, it's so pretty, thank you very much. Water balloon would make much smaller patterns, would it not? Yes. Water balloon might be great for the little 8x10s, right? Maybe? Uh, alrighty, so let's have a look and let's touch that up. A little bit of movement, sorry. There we go. Try not to shake too much for you. Let's start up at this little one. This is the area I need to add some more white. There. Can you see that now? No. Okay. So we'll come down. That section. And then we'll come back to... That is the prettiest. I feel I really enjoy that section. It would give you a more intricate design. It's very dainty. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll give the water in the balloon a go. Or the water balloon. Love the flingies. Thank you very much. There we go. They're soft and delicate. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm loving how it came out. So potentially, when this one is dry, what I would do, what I feel like I would do at this point, I won't know till it's actually done, is using a very fine dotting tool add a little bit of a feature and then um, I'm not sure step it out dot it out I don't know the terminology um, so dot it out and fade it out along the line maybe I don't know we'll see how it looks when it's dry and there it is so and if there's an area you don't like, a little tip, when it's dry, paint over it with white. I used titanium white for the background. So if there's, for example, maybe that green dot in the middle there, if I don't like that on there when it's dry, paint over it. I don't mind it being there, which is why I'm leaving it there because I could remove it now, but if I didn't notice it and then it dried, i just just paint over it, all good. So I'm not quite sure the angle, whether this is a landscape piece or a portrait, I'll assess that too when it's dry and I can hold it up. So there you have it. Thank you so much for being here. It's lovely seeing all your beautiful faces. And thank you to those who are here watching the replay. I really appreciate you too. You're all amazing and I love your support. Thank you. Another thing you could do is take a paintbrush and flick some paint. Yes. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been very successful at that. I tried it and I got globs and so, but I will have a go at that again. Thank you for the suggestion so there we have it as i mentioned earlier this is tracy creating i'm tracy and i hope that you found some inspiration education or relaxation during this video thank you for the suggestions and i appreciate you so if you have to go anywhere please take care it is important because you are important so on that note, thank you, your legends. Um, I'm very happy. We'll see how it dries. Be kind, be creative, and be fabulous.
Bye.